Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Senior Airman Chan Smith. Hiding explosives is a big part of how terrorist networks strike at coalition forces. Lance Corporal Clayton Rogers takes us to FOB Thunder, where U.S. forces are preventing this threat inside the wire with canines. Military working dogs use their noses to find what humans have a hard time seeing with their eyes. Threats are high in Patia province, so the ANA and coalition forces find it necessary to search the Afghan compound. Conducting the search is dog handler specialist Joseph Vandenhock and his companion Bach. We're going into one of the current ANA compounds, a uh, building to be determined by the local ANA and police. We will be conducting searches on either their barracks, warehousing, or storage units, motor pools, such of nature as that. Vandenhock and Bach work together every day. No, out. He says Bach gets carried away sometimes and doesn't understand his place. No. No. I have to establish my dominance over him, make sure he knows I'm the alpha male, and then I'm in charge. Leave it. Mine. Leave it. Mine. Get it. Oh, it missed. That's clear because Vandehock, after all, is the one giving orders. Uh, I generally let him sweep a few times through, get himself oriented, get him his free search, and then I'll detail anything I feel like needs to be detailed after that that he may have missed. The Afghan National Army is happy their compound turned up clean. Much. Good job, Air ANA. And for another day, Team Bach and Vandenhock have a successful mission. Reporting from Five Thunder, I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Rogers.